All right, you ready? Yep. Good evening from Wilcox. Wilcox, Arizona. Wilcox, Arizona. We are at the Cattle Rest RV Park and Saloon. <laughs> This place is awesome. You can't go wrong with a place where you can get four tacos, a cocktail, a bottle of beer for 12 bucks, and free pool tables. Anyway, so welcome to, what is it? Welcome to Where Will We Be in 2023. Right. Otherwise known as Destination Changing Westward Ho. Yes, we know we're in the West already, but we're doing it anyway. So anyway, here's our map for 2023. Here's where we're going. Um, Susan is a little under the weather, so she may not be participating like she normally would, but um, she had a pretty bad cold. Cold, I guess. Whatever it was yesterday, slept for 13 hours. That's, that's two or three good days for me, but... Um, <laughs> And I apologize, I have a cough drop in my mouth, too, so... Right, so she may not be her normal... Chatty. Chatty, spry, spunky self, but enjoy it while you can. Um, okay, so let's start off here. We are at, like I said, Cattle Rest RV Park and Saloon. So I'm not going to go every single stop that we do in 2023. We're just going to kind of hit the highlights, I guess, some of the areas that we're going in. Um, but we're starting off here in, in Arizona. We've loved our time here. We go from here to northwest of Phoenix for an entire month. Uh, we have to get the truck fixed. Uh, as I've said before and shown you before, their back left fender is dented because I hit a pole in Lawrence, Lawrence, Kansas. So we're getting that fixed. We also have family and friends out there that we're gonna catch up with and it's warmer there than it is in most places. So that's also critical. Uh, after that, we head to Vegas for a month. If you haven't been to Vegas, you need to go to Vegas. Vegas is amazing. I think we're gonna meet with at least one friend there, Judy. Judy. Uh, if that works out. And then after that, we kind of make our way up through southern Utah, which is where the Mighty Five, I have to get my notes here, this is where the Mighty Five um, National Parks are, which is Arches, Bryce Canyon, Canyonland, Capitol Reef, and Zion. So those are called the Mighty Five. We're going to be able to knock all those out, I think. Um, and then after that, where do we head after that? Uh, don't we have a half marathon for you to do? Yeah. Oh, yeah there's... So in 2023, I will be uh, crossing off five states. Right. I already did New Mexico. Um, in the beginning of May, we'll be in Northern California. I'm doing the Avenue of the Giants half marathon on May 7th. Then at the end of the month, we'll be in Idaho. I'll be doing the Coeur d'Alene half right. marathon. And then um, July 29th is the Jack and Jill Downhill Half Marathon in Washington and then Bridge of the Gods on August 6th in Oregon. And that will finish off 2023 and half marathons for me. Taking me to 40. Ten more to go. 40 states. 40 states, yeah. 40 states. How many lifetime will that be? I forgot to check. 170 something? something like that yeah 170 lifetime half marathons and so that'll knock out all the states west of the mississippi obviously except for um hawaii and alaska mm -hmm. right correct right all right so we start doing all that we go to red bluff california um eureka california where you go to crescent oregon pendleton oregon um, then Idaho, and then after that is when we, yeah, after we do your Washington one, I think, no, after we do your Oregon one, mm -hmm. we hustle out because one of the things I'm super excited about doing is we're going to watch fireworks over Mount Rushmore over July 4th. That will be awesome. It's going to be awfully peopley. That isn't awesome, but um, I think the fireworks over Mount Rushmore, and if you haven't been there, of course I haven't either, but that's a lifetime goal of mine. You know, they they invite uh, active and retired military down on stage, so that'll be neat to see that over the July 4th holiday, 
you know, Devil's Towers up there that we're going to see. We have a national park up there, at least, that we're going to see. And I'm going to take one of my vacation weeks that week, too. So we should be able to really see a bunch of stuff up there. So super excited about that. And then we have to hustle back to Washington because I think that's when we do... That's when I do my half marathon in Washington. Right. July 29th. Right. So after that July 4th weekend, we have to hustle back to Washington so she can do her uh, half marathon in uh, in Washington. Is that the... Would you call that one the gate? That's, that's Jack and Jill. And Jack then and Jill. after that is Oregon. Is that right? And then from Oregon, we make our way down to Albuquerque. Albuquerque right? 4. For the balloon, balloon fiesta. fiesta. Um, <laughs> another thing that is just amazing, I don't know if you followed us on Facebook or not, but um, that is the Balloon Fiesta in Albuquerque is a worldwide destination place, especially for those in the RV world. And so the, the tickets and the RV spots at the Balloon Fiesta went on sale whenever it was a week ago for like Fifteen or sixteen hundred spots, maybe seventeen seventeen hundred spots, seventeen hundred and fifty spots, and it went open. That website went live at nine a.m. Mountain Time, and they were getting two and a half million hits a second. They had sixty thousand people uh, pinging them, try to get uh, RV spots and. We made it. Yeah. <laughs> we made it. You know, there are people on the various Facebook pages saying they've been trying for three, four years, haven't been able to get in, incredibly frustrated, um, but we made it. So I'm totally excited about that. However, on the way, something else that I'm excited about is we're going to spend a couple weeks in the Ure, Colorado region. Um, and I, that should be about the time the leaves are changing, which should just flat out be gorgeous. And Ure is where they have, it's, it's the million, the million, mo million, highway. million dollar highway or something so. like that. Um, but it's an incredible place. I mean, when you look at it on, on TV, it's O-U-R-A-Y, I think. Uh, well, I'm not going to look it up here. But anyway, it's O-U-R-A-Y, Ure. It's just, it's just ridiculous. So then we go from there down to Albuquerque for a week. And then we need to hustle from Albuquerque over to St. Louis because our nephew Jake and Maddie, his fiance, are getting married December the 5th? The first Friday in first December. First Friday, whatever that is. Um, so we're going to go back there. We're going to spend Thanksgiving with Mike and Joanne, my brother and sister-in-law, go to Jake and Maddie's wedding. And then from there, we bust to move out to Yuma, Arizona, because <laughs> I have no interest in spending any time in the Midwest in December, where it's going to be cold and snowy and all the things that, I did, that, uh, that we're trying to get away from in this lifestyle. So that, in summary, is what we're going to do. When I edit this video, I'll put a map on there, probably this map right here. Um, if you can see this map, there's a lot going on right there. Um, that is a lot of work. That's hustling, but we're going to do it. So I'll give you some, some numbers on this. Um, 9,899 miles just in travel. That's not sightseeing and going to various places. That's just getting from point A to point B to point C. Uh, by the way, there are 45 points here. That are, that's 45 stops that we're making throughout the year. Uh, 9,899 miles. 179 hours actually in the truck. It will seem like more than that for me, not her. Uh, <laughs> and every single night will be spent in Hoosier. Now this is all assuming everything goes according to plan, right? And so we don't know if it'll go according to plan or not, but we're planning on it. <laughs> Right. Yeah. And we got relatively lucky in 2022. Right, I mean, we, we made it to all of our stops. We really just had the Couple one hiccup when we were in Lawrence, Kansas Lawrence. and had our first internal water leak. So we had to scurry up to Nebraska. But then we came back down to Kansas to our next stop, I think it was. I think it was. So um, aside from that, we 
we hit every stop in 2022 and added one. Yeah, that's right, we did. That's right, we did. Uh, proving Darren Lawson wrong on that. Darren Lawson was the one factor, looking at you, a uh, fraternity brother of mine, when we announced what our schedule was for 2022. Um, yeah. He said we'd be lucky if we We'd got be it. lucky. Now, Darren was being totally cool about that. Darren's not a jerk, but anyway. So we nailed it, factor. Don't doubt me. <coughs> um, so. Let's talk about some of the other things uh, that we're excited about. Um, there is the potential that we could see 18 national parks in 2023. And we've already been to two. Yeah. We've been to Saguaro and White Sands. Um, and before you even ask, going to all the national parks isn't really, that by itself isn't really our goal. Oh, right. um, our goal is we want to see as much of the beauty and diversity that this country has to offer. And a lot of that is contained within the boundaries of a national park and they're accessible, you know? I mean, you know, it, you know, if you say, yeah, I want to see this, but then you have to, you know, hike into the back country for, you know, two weeks, that, that really isn't good for us. Mm -hmm. um, but you go to those national parks, you just get to see everything. And they're just, you know, we pay, we bought the, the annual pass for 80 bucks so we can get into any national park system uh, property. So that's the 63 national parks, the national monuments, um, all these other places that are, that are run by the National Park Service um, that would normally charge a fee, we get to, uh, we get to use our, um, AD, or our pass on. So that's cool. So the, the ones that we think we're going to get to in 2023, like I said earlier, the Mighty Five, Arches, Bryce Canyon, Canyonland, Capitol Reef, and Zion. Uh, we think we're going to get to Death Valley uh, when we're in Las Vegas. We think we can hop over and get Death Valley. Black Canyon of the Gunnison when we're in Ure. Um, that's not very far away. Lassen Volcano National Park when we're in Red Bluff, California. Redwood National Park when we're in Eureka. Uh, Mesa Verde. National Park when we're in Mancos, Colorado. I don't even know where Mancos is, but we're going to be spending some time there apparently. Um, possibly Grand Canyon. We don't know about Grand Canyon. Uh, Mount Rainier, possibly. That one's real iffy. That's going to be when she's up there doing her half marathon. So we may just run out, and it's not really that close. Yeah. It's like a three hour drive from where we're going to be staying. And that may or may not work out. I, I would say we have less than a 50-50 chance of getting into that one. Um, but Wind Cave National Park and Badlands National Park, when we're out going to um, Mount Rushmore, Devil's Tower, and, and that Hot Springs, as we're hustling from Albuquerque to St. Louis, we're going to swing through Arkansas, we think, and pick up Hot Springs. And like I said, we already went to Saguaro and White Sands. Joshua Tree, tree uh, Joshua Tree, um, when we're done with St. Louis, we, we move pretty quick to Yuma, Arizona for the winter. And we're, when we're in Yuma, we'll be close enough to Joshua Tree to go, but I don't know if we'll technically get that in in 2023 that may leak into 2024 but anyway that's our plan we're totally excited about that <laughs> and we're those people we bought the um, national park passport book yep so whenever we go somewhere we get the stamp uh, more often than not we get the sticker that goes in there as well yep. um, sometimes i'll get a lapel pin i've got a whiteboard in our bedroom that has cork board around it so i'm putting my pins there and then um, we get a sticker from the state yep. park too and we're putting those on the side on our, our um, dining room slide. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We're touristy people. <laughs> we do touristy things. Um, so again, building on the, the things that we think we're going to see that we're excited about, we're talking about uh, Fourth of July at Mount Rushmore, uh, the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Fiesta. Um, Ure, uh, just visiting the Pacific Northwest in general, I think will be neat. The scenery and the landscape up there, from what I've heard and what I've seen on videos, 
is absolutely breathtaking. So I'm excited about seeing that. As we're making our way down to Albuquerque, we're going to swing by, um, and I think we're going to be able to visit the Great Salt Flats. That'll be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't know if I want to make a whole day of it, but it seems like it'd be cool. Um, Oh, keep your fingers crossed that when that we're able to see the northern lights. I doubt that that's going to happen. I don't think we're going to be far enough north at the right time to see the northern lights. But that is totally a goal of ours someday mm -hmm. is to see the northern lights. Ah, probably not. Um, we're going to be able to get on and see some of the Route 66. Mm -hmm. Is it route or route? Route 66? I say route. Route? Route 66. What do you say? Route or route? Drop us a comment below. Let Root us know, route. and you know, phonetically do it. Right. Root R O O T sixty six. And as we're again, as we're making our way over to Yuma, Arizona, at some point we will be standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. That'll be fun. Uh, when we're in Yuma, we want to see London Bridge, so maybe some international travel. <laughs> Um, and of course, other things too. We can see family and friends. We can see our, the, our uh, skeleton cousins in Phoenix, the Anglers, good friends of ours for many, many years, live in the Phoenix area. Um, like you said, Judy Moore, hopefully, we get mm -hmm. to see when we're in Vegas in a couple months. Then we're going back to St. Louis, spend time with my brother, sister in law, and uh, see Jake and Maddie get married. So we'll be able to see, hopefully, other family there too mm -hmm. will be able to come in for that wedding. So that'll be fun. Um, and then just the unplanned things that make this trip awesome. You know, the unplanned things like, like uh, Jules the Hitchhiker when we were in Dubois, you know, meeting up with him and he was the kid that was hiking the, uh, Continental Divide. Shit, yeah, the uh, Continental Divide. Um, and I had to give him a lift to one of his on and off points. It was just a treat talking with Jules. He was awesome. Um, pistachio land, you know, unexpected novelty, silly places like that also make this lifestyle, you know, awesome, I think. Why we're doing it. No, we have not found the world's largest ball of twine yet. We know where it is. We know where it is, but we've gone to the world's largest pistachio and the world's largest chili. Yeah, the world's largest chili, chili, chili that pepper. That was in Las Cruces as well. Yeah. So fun, silly things like that, right? right? We enjoy doing that. And, you know, those things just pop up, you know, unexpected things. And, and even things like when we were down in Pensacola and we were there, we had no idea when we booked that, that that was going to be the same time that the Blue Angels did their homecoming finale for their, for their show season. We had no idea. We just got lucky. We got down and realized, hey, the Blue Angels are doing their show. We need to go see yeah. that. And it was amazing. Um, and one of the things we've seen here, you know, we arrived in Wilcox, Arizona, and we went to Chiricahua National Monument. Yeah. Mind blown. That, a place we'd never even yeah. heard of until a couple of weeks yeah. ago. Never heard of it's it. It's gorgeous. It's just insane what that park looks like. It's amazing. It is like nothing I've ever seen yeah. in my life. And it's, it's 45 minutes away from here. And it's free, by the way. Yeah. It's free. Just drive on in and, and look at uh, just something that is hard to describe. It's one of those places that it doesn't matter how good a photographer or videographer is. It's just not going to. Yeah. It's just that place. Um, but, you know, but, but, those, but those bonuses and meeting the people, like I said, Jules, meeting that Olympian that we, that we met when we were up right. in um, Livingston, Montana, you know, just out having a beer watching the sunset. And I was wearing a Cubs hat, I think. Yeah. And he goes by, and so that was just a, a conversation starter. And it turns out he was an Olympian uh, when they were in Barcelona. And so it was interesting meeting him. And we um, met Robin from Evansville. Robin we from were Evansville. In Livingston, Texas. Um, and then got to see her again when we were in Port Aransas, yep. Texas. And then um, randomly met Amy and her son at our most recent KOA in Las Cruces. Amy from Noblesville, Indiana. From Noblesville, Indiana. So Who had also done... Iron, Iron Man, Man Chattanooga. Yeah, the year before you. Yeah, did year it. before I did Iron Man Chattanooga. Amy had done Iron Man Chattanooga. So, you know, just those. And I think what I thought was awesome too was when we were just cheesing around in Hayes, um, Kansas, and we walked into that bar and, and um, while you were getting drunk on those wine slushies, no. which I remember it. 
Um, no, she wasn't. Um, you know, meeting the bartender and mm -hmm. those two patrons that were there. That was interesting. I really enjoyed that. So these, so these random, and then that one lady we met in um, Wakini when we were just walking up and down the road that had that, um, you know, she she was a shop owner that we just. Oh no, that was in Nebraska. Oh, was it? Yeah. All right. I don't remember her name, but I don't, I don't remember her name. <laughs> that's where we drew destination changing in shock on right, the sidewalk, right outside her. Yeah. That was in Nebraska. Uh -huh. So we feel sometimes like this must be how rock stars and performers <laughs> feel. Half the time I can't even remember what state I'm in, um, whether that be conscious or unconscious, um, or one of the 50 states. I can't even remember where I am half the time. That was one of the fun things for me just recently in Las Cruces. The KOA there had free coffee and pastries, prepackaged breakfast items. Um, Oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> Those classify as pastries. So when I was there every morning, you just start chatting with people and you learn where they're from and what they're doing. And and again, that's how I found out that Amy was from Indiana and I met people from Canada and Pennsylvania and Michigan. And you just, you know, what are you guys doing? Where are you from? And, and that's the cool well, thing about it. Speaking of that, there's Canadians that we were next to in one park. Oh, yeah. And at the very next park, you know, yep. 250 yep. miles away, we were right next to the exact same couple yep. 250 miles away yep. just a couple days later. We were in Castroville, and then we went to Comstock, right. and they were in Comstock. Right. We met them in Castroville next to them for three or four days. And then, like I said, a week later, we were, <laughs> we were right next to them again. <laughs> so stuff like that is priceless. And then getting here, and, you know, we were... We were a little bit <laughs> wondering about how sketch this was going to be here at the Cattle Rest RV Park and Saloon, Saloon when one of the reviews said something about <laughs> I was there, a fight broke out. Yeah. But so, the bartender said that was unusual. Oh, yeah, it doesn't so. happen a lot, I guess. The bartender, yep, doesn't happen a lot. But, but it hasn't it. been loud or noisy nope. or anything like that. And we're literally like 30, and I'm yeah. pointing right at it. I mean, it's not even a pitching wedge away from our, it's 30 yards tops from cold beer and tacos. So, anyway. Um, anything else I'm leaving out, forgetting? Um, and like I said, all this, you know, this is a great plan. This is what we plan on doing. A lot of these places have already been booked. We've already, Susan does usually, usually does all the booking. So a lot of these places have been booked, particularly the high demand places like Ure in the fall and the, um, um, Mount Rushmore, Rushmore. Yeah. for July 4th. And, um, Balloon the Balloon Fiesta. Because um, even though we're staying at the um, Balloon Fiesta RV park for a few days, we wanted to be somewhere close prior to right. those three days. So we got lucky and found a KOA that had some availability, and we got in there like three days before right. we are to go to the actual right. Fiesta itself. Right. So I'm looking at the map over there. There's a lot going on. And like I say, when I edit this video, you'll see all the stops we're making and... Um, there's a lot going on. Oh, we're adding how many states to our board? Oh, shush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Ten. states to the board. That Well, no, 11, because yeah, we've already count, added like, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, 10 or two, 11. Three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Yeah, San Diego, or San Diego, South Dakota, <laughs> Jesus Christ. South Dakota, Oklahoma, and Arkansas, then Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Utah, Nevada, California, Arizona, and New Mexico. Yeah. I think that's 11. That's a lot. Um, so, big year. Um, hope you guys come along with us. And um, we wouldn't be good YouTubers if Susan didn't <laughs> don't give forget. the advertisement. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure you give us a like after you watch the video and give the like here on the YouTube channel, not just on the Facebook page, but the YouTube channel. Um, we've actually kind of grown our membership a little bit, um, so that's fun. I picked up a few more people on our Instagram account and on our Facebook page. Again, Facebook page is where we do the most posting just because it's just so instantaneous. Yeah, so, easy. Um, so John will put links in there for this, but um, I will. 
Yeah. Okay. I'll put links <laughs> in it for that. Um, you know, we love having you guys along yeah. on this journey and sharing it with us. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So comment, is it route or route 66? <laughs> I think I call it route. What's your favorite place that you've heard us say that you're excited for us to go to or that right. you've been to? Yeah, that's a good point too. And that is a good point. You know, you guys make a lot of suggestions on Facebook as far as what to see, where to go, where to eat. We can't do all of that, that's yeah. for sure. You I mean, my gosh, that's all we'd be doing. Well, especially too, wherever we are, we pretty much have like a two hour radius right. for the most part of being able to go someplace. So, you know, everybody when we were in New Mexico wanted us to go up to Santa Fe and all that. It was, it was just too far away. So, you know, we, we hope, excuse me, to hit those later. Yeah. <coughs> so, anyway, keep making your suggestions and comments. We, we do read them. We enjoy them. Not able to do most of them, but um, we enjoy it. And so, anyway. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. All right. See you. Bye. We can't kiss. I have a cold. She has cooties. We'll have, uh, Air kiss. Uh, uh. Whatever. All right. <laughs> <laughs>